Good morning everybody. Um, it's Sunday today and I had a lie-in till like nine o'clock and then I got up and did a cycle Instagram, uh, did the bar class which killed me and so I've just showered. I've done all my body moisturiser and my scrub. Um, I found a massive spot on my chin which is just brilliant um and so what i'm going to do now is because i haven't been doing like any curling or anything like using any heat in my hair at all just letting it dry and it's been fine but it would be nice if it had a wave in it but i cannot be asked to use my curler so i'm just gonna um center part it and do two little um pippy long stocking plaits so that they're like a wave through the bottom and then i'm going to double mask which is a clay mask which is like a purifying clay mask and then on top of that i'm going to put a moisturizing sheet mask and let's hope that it does wonders for this little spot so i don't think the point is that it's um neat which is good for me because i'm a scruffy bugger so i'm going to do it quite tight i'll just do it in front of my ear like this or maybe I should do it higher up than that. Yeah, let's do it higher up than that. So at least the wave is maybe a bit higher in, the, in my hair. I can't do a French plait. I used to be able to do them um, so easily. I used to do them for all my friends because uh, I used to. I used to. Tra I trained as a hairdresser uh, instead of going to college. Went to hairdressing college for a bit and then dropped out when I realised it was not for me. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm no good at French plaits anymore and if I do do them, I did them when, actually when I was in Australia uh, I did them uh, to sleep in so that I didn't have to do my hair in the mornings um, and they were just rough and ready and fine but I couldn't have gone out in public with it, I just had to literally wait for the curl the next day. Right there's one, I wonder how long I should leave this in, that's chic isn't it? <laughs> Hello everyone, we're back in the salon, um, I'm just doing a clear base and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt a black tip today. But let's just see where we get to, because I haven't got the patience to be sitting here for forever and a day. I also think I need to take this mask off now. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Hello again, it's me. Right, so I also wanted to talk to you about normal people on the BBC in the UK, um, because it's all anyone can think about, all anyone can talk about, and it is honestly, the most moved I think I've ever been via a TV, apart from the Green Mile, which is just a league of its own. But oh my God, it is the most beautiful, emotional, sad and painful watch I have ever, ever encountered. And um, yesterday I'd, I'd put it on my Instagram stories and tagged um, the guy who plays Connell, one of the main characters in it, he's called Paul Mezcal. And my friend has started, um, a Instagram account dedicated to Connell's chain because he wears this little silver chain all the way through it and he replied to me while I was on the floor that was it so I'd said like god that you must be so proud of yourself this is amazing and um, thank you sort of thing and he was like oh thank you so much you're so kind have a lovely weekend and I was like dead absolutely dead so now I'm just sat here listening to the soundtrack and it's really affected me I can't stop thinking about it it's so sad but so beautiful so if you haven't watched it please go and watch it Pour my tea, pour my thoughts into separate beds Spilling out in the clouds, whirling like a pirouette Every breath, every cross, everywhere I turn In my head, stitching thread Until my temples burn From the crease of your mouth to the picket fences All the space stretching out, blurring my defenses short nail on my little finger so that's a bit messy but apart from that well happy it didn't take me quite as long i used a different brush that was thicker so i just did three strokes rather than loads of piddly little ones but we're getting there oh that looks really oh no yeah that's all right good brilliant
train All of these memories float around and ricochet Like a stone when it's thrown out over the sea As I roll, as I grow tougher than I used to be Love is sweet and it calls Hello everybody, I'm back and my banana loaf is done I forgot to tell you that I was actually mating, making um I wasn't mating anything, I was making a banana and chocolate loaf and it's nearly cool now Oh my god, I'm gonna eat it warm though so the chocolate's melted inside I also didn't have any parchment paper so I used foil I'm sure it'll come out okay, I hope it'll come out okay I want a cup of tea and a piece of cake desperately I'll put on um, the link to the one that I used, it's a Mary Berry one um, So yes, oh and also I wanted to tell you as well that the the series I was banging on about before, Normal People, it's not just available on the BBC iPlayer, it's available on Hulu as well, so you can watch it worldwide, wherever you are. Well, would you look at that? Oh my God. It smells heavenly. There's chocolate chunks that have half melted in the bottom. It is cooked, I can assure you. It's not very tall, but oh my God. Through all the fear, what I needed the most was you here. If I ever let you down, 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 if I today it's monday today and um although it's very sunny and lovely and beautiful and bright outside it's actually not that warm i've been wandering about in a t-shirt and shorts and then i was like i'm freezing who am i kidding so i'm now in my trackies and a t-shirt <laughs> um i've just been shooting i had loads of energy when i got up this morning so i did a double class on instagram live with one with actually both with Danielle Pisa. One I did, uh, it was upper body and technique, like dance technique stuff. And then she started an abs challenge today, which is going to take two weeks. So it's about 10 or 15 minutes a day, abs blast um, at 12 o'clock every day on YouTube live. So I'm going to do that um, because let's face it, I've got lots of time on my hands. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, I've just been shooting this afternoon because it's been nice light. And now I'm going to watch a film. Um, it's only about half three. I've got my Instagram live at five o'clock with Lizzie on Instagram. And yeah, the film I'm going to watch has got Cami Mendes in it, who is who plays Veronica in Riverdale. And I know that I spoke to you about how much I love Riverdale before, but it's going to be one of these like coming of age teen dramas again. So I'm going to get stuck into this and then I'll do my live and then I don't think I'll finish it all. So I'll come back to it after. And that's about it for today. I've been like, oh, what should I do? Um, and just kind of pattering about but in a really nice light mood which is just so lovely and I slept well so I'm like I'm taking today as the biggest win ever and we have to take these days because we all have them as well it's just that they seem to be sandwiched by some really dark days as well um but we take them as they come so yeah I hope you're okay probably don't have much to much else to tell you today to be honest um I'll pop back on if I do think of anything uh, but yes, otherwise have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, a quick update. I'm watching Never Have I Ever, which is honestly, it couldn't be more up my street. It's like somebody wrote it for me. Um, it's on Netflix and it's a season, it's a series, sorry. And it's a Netflix original and it's all about coming of age and it has the most beautiful man who's one of the main characters in it. So I just literally urge you to go and watch it right now. <laughs> Hello everybody. Oh, just sitting down with a piece of my banana and chocolate bread. Look at that. Oh, and also some extra dairy milk squares. Had one glass of orange wine and I feel really tipsy. Anyway, we're gonna watch Killing Eve now. It's the evening time. It's time for winding down. James is forever <laughs> complaining that it's so cold in this house. Honestly, so he's just put the heating on and gone to put his trackies on because he's been such a baby. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Come on, we have to watch Killing Eve! Is it off? No! Oh, I'll turn it off. <laughs> Come on, 
You can't let anyone see me in this state. <laughs> what state's that? Oh, the non haircut state. <laughs> Listen, the whole country's in no hair haircut state. Yeah, but they're not putting on pounds at a rate of knots. <laughs> when the time comes, hear me say you will feel my love. When the time comes, and you say never be the same as before. It'll never be the same. Today. I've just popped on because I've just had a beautiful um, flower delivery. They're amazing and these are like my favourites. All everything that's white and green but I don't know who it's from so I'm gonna just open this little um, thing here. Well chuffed. Flowers really make my day. From James, <laughs> the snake. Uh, it says, "See Lindsay, all the love from James." That's so gorgeous. I think they're a, like a London-based place called Botanique Artisan Store and Flower Shop. Well, happy with those. I'm gonna go and put them in some water. It's gorgeous today. It's Thursday. Um, and I've got a really exciting project to work on, so I'm gonna go and shoot some stuff in the garden um, and just read a book, I think, out there and just try and enjoy being outside. But I hope you, everyone is all right and everything. Um, I've had a bit of a better week this week, like it's felt more calm and like more of a routine and like I haven't been as on the ceiling as usual. <laughs> um, and ahead of this, on Sunday, apparently in the UK, we're getting um, an announcement from our Prime Minister Boris uh, that will initiate a five phase plan of like reintegration into society. <laughs> so I'm hoping that includes that I can see my family because I'm desperate to see them. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think that's why I'm feeling a bit better because I know a bit of change is coming, if that makes sense. Um, one thing I want to show you as well is this book. It's called The Summer Book by Tova Jansen. And I really, really could not get hold of this book for love nor money. So I, ha I bought it second hand and um, 
The amazing thing about buying secondhand books is that they're often gifts for people. And this one, honestly, it looks like it's not been read, which obviously means I haven't touched it yet. Um, and in it is a really, really gorgeous note. It says, um, it's 2015 July, too lovely Nat. Once you have children, this little story will stay with you. Stay with you. Oh yeah, we'll stay with you with all our love, Ma and Dad. Made, made me tear up when I read that. I was like, oh, it's a precious book, this precious book. So yeah, that's the book I'm gonna read today. I'll put a little link with the um, title and everything on. I actually saw this one on Florence's um, book club uh, between two books as well on Instagram. So I thought, and, and the way that they described it sounded right up my street. And it's only little, which is a shame because I really was hoping it would be a big meaty one. So yeah, um, I'll report back on that anyway. Today. it's the bank holiday um, I've done a lovely stretch and relax class. there's a disco in the kitchen um, I've done a really nice stretch and relax class this morning with Danielle and her friend Erin who does like lots of yoga and stuff as well and they've just been in the garden because it's just so nice um, I've got a, a, like a quiz and a drink zoom call in the garden in about 10 minutes with a couple of the girls and then uh, James is cooking a really nice tea tonight and yeah, she's been nice. We've been cleaning loads. We've done loads of cleaning, loads of sorting out. And like, you know, when you just wake up one day and everything is so full and you're just like, I really need to hoover. I really need to sort that drawer out. That's like the drawer of nothing or the drawer of everything. You can never find anything. It doesn't have a home. Um, so yeah, we've done that today and the day's just gone, but it's been beautiful. We've had all the doors open, all the windows open. And yeah, feeling very, very happy and very, very lucky today that we've got some sunshine. Um, so yes, I hope you're all okay today. Um, I might pop on later if I have anything to tell you, but if not, I will see you tomorrow. Hello everybody. Um, hello. <laughs> hello James. Um, we've just been for a big walk but we timed it wrong because we went at like 12 and it is so hot <laughs> and I wore my trousers which were quite cool but James kept saying that he really didn't understand why I was in trousers and not shorts. Um, what are we doing today? We're going to go in the garden. I'm going to do my little abs challenge that I've been doing with Danielle Pisa. There's one every day. So I missed yesterday so I'll do yesterday's and then catch up tomorrow again because she doesn't do a Sunday so effectively I'm still on track. Um, and then we've got a collector food shop and that's it really. We've got a quiz tonight with our friends Kim and Simon. And yeah, we just, we've got every door and window we can have open and have because it's so hot. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everyone's really good today and that you're having a lovely weekend. Um, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hello everybody. Um, I've just come on to say goodbye basically, <laughs> uh, to sign off my vlog for this week. And thank you so much for watching along. Um, it's been a really nice week and one that's felt really happy and like I've had some sense of routine for a change. Um, I hope that you're all starting to feel a bit better about things too um, and if you're not that's okay you've just got to ride it out and take the good days when you can. Um, but yes thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>